agriculture.com's coverage of Canada's Outdoor Farm Show 2012 is brought to you by Pride Seeds, High Stick NT, and SoybeanSchool.com. So just a short introduction to the IQ milker. We came out with this a few years ago and it's still you know, one of the best milkers that we've seen on the marketplace. And what's unique about it is that, uh, what's unique about it is that uh, we have a quarter milker design and there's no vacuum until the, um, until you get near the teat and then it sucks the teat in, as you can see. So it makes it really nice, it doesn't suck up straw or dirt or foreign materials. And then we have a quarter design as I said, and basically why they, the idea of the quarter design is so that each, there's no cross contamination of the milk, so it can't go from quarter to quarter. And there's other features about the claw, but you know, the main thing about it is, is that we've got no vacuum until we get to the teats and, uh, and it does milk very, very well. It, it's very fast, high capacity, stable vacuum, so uh, we've done very well with it. We've got a lot of units out. Uh, in our area here in Ontario and Maritimes, we've in excess of about, uh, well, we're over a thousand units now. So um, that's that one. And then uh, I'll move over to something that's even newer. And uh, you can see that here. Um, what we've done is taken the IQ claw and we've added a valve on the back. And with the valve, what we can do here is teat dip right in the liner. The teat dip comes up through here into the top and then we dip inside the liner. That happens just before it comes off the cow. And then it's hung upside down. in the milk and parlor and then what it does is it flushes the valve goes down and what it'll do is flush this unit out with a sanitizer then water and then air and then it's ready for the next cow all ready to be cleaned and sanitized for the next cow so we don't get any cross contamination but that's what we call back flush but what's new more than that is that the ability that the operator or the guy milking the cow doesn't have to dip the cow is being dipped just before the unit comes off and uh, really nice dip, uh, it does a nice job, nice and thorough, it's not skipped or nothing, it really really does a very good job. So this isn't released yet, uh, we're going to release it probably in another month or so and then we'll be able to market it. So I was fortunate enough that we had a test farm in my area so we had really good success with this. Um, yeah, we had to make some modifications as in any test, but uh, it, it's proved out very, very successful. So that is just on the IQ claw, and then it's only available at this time for our equipment. It's not available to put on a competitive type of parlor system at this time. This is illustrating a four stall uh, robot. This is what we call a MI1. Uh, what, probably some of the unique things about it is our cluster design. And you can bring it here. Is our cluster design. And with the cluster design, what it does is it doesn't allow the teat cup to fall down into the manure or dirt. And when we go to uh, use the robot arm, this is the robot arm and it moves back and forth on a track and then what we can do with the robot arm is we only use it to attach the detaching part is done without the robot the arm only attaches so with it with a camera on the arm the, the camera is what positions it to put them on the quarters and it's basically a pixel camera that's just software driven so that we can put the unit on but again we follow the Apollo system what we do here is we wash in the liner and then we dry the teat in the liner and then we milk the cow all in one process after the cow is finished we will have the Apollo system on it shortly it'll dip in the liner do a true back flush so uh, then the, the, if they're individual stalls uh, one stall will milk about oh, say 140 to 170 cow milkings that's what we project 
with one stall and uh, from there they're fed in the stall, milked in the stall and then released. So that's basically the MI1 just short and brief. Uh, there's more on YouTube and so on on it but uh, that just gives you an idea of what we're doing with the robot.